I'm gonna say it's so refreshing to see everyone together in person. I've been yeah, doing yeah. 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 So I was like, I've been doing virtual junkets, I think, for a year and a half now, and it's so lovely to yeah. see all of you together. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, I watched these movies with my dad. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Cute. laughs> I, absolutely, I had so much fun with them. I'm a huge horror film buff. I have Scream, Jennifer's Body. Oh, yes. 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 yes, yes. And honestly, without giving anything too spoilery away, there's so many massive death scenes in this movie that just left me shocked. And it got me thinking, what are some of your favorite death scenes uh, in a horror film of all time? Obviously, Drew Barrymore in Scream, which these films pay a lot of homage to Scream. But because, yeah. Kiana, I want to begin with you. What is some of your favorite iconic horror film deaths? Um, I'm gonna say the one in Scream. What's the character's name? I asked you yesterday. Tatum. Tatum in Scream. Tatum. You know when she yes, cuts the hole Allen. in the garage door and then the, the killer presses the button and it opens and then she gets sliced? That to me was like super creative and iconic. Yes, Ryan, what about for you? Uh, I immediately thought of Midsummer when they find, I mean that whole movie is filled with gorgeous murder, yeah. Yeah. but when yeah. they find the one friend and his body has been like skinned and made into this like incredible freaky sculpture. Yeah. It's like very yeah. Texas Chainsaw. Mm. Yeah. So spooky. And also just the end, that whole movie is just so yeah, beautifully good. disgusting. I am like, I'm obsessed with Midsommar. Olivia, what about for you? Um, I think like I've said any of, any death in any Nightmare on Elm Street movie, but there's one where um, a girl in the third one in Dream Warriors, a girl, one of the characters is watching TV and she like walks up to the TV because she's fallen asleep and she doesn't know when she's in a dream. And then Freddy Krueger comes out of the TV and then he picks her up and shoves her head in the TV and then she's like dangling from oh, this hospital yeah. TV. Yeah, I remember that one. Yes, yeah, I was like, you good. know this one. And it's yeah. really uh -huh. cool. Anything? Yes, Emily, what about for you? Um, I like, Suspiria, like the whole big mm. scene at the end. It's like very the 2018 one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All I, yeah I, I love the original and the 2018 with one with yeah. Dakota. Yeah, Johnson. yeah, yeah. The 2018 one at the end, though, it's just like yeah. at, uh, like all the, like, of that. It's just like moment. very, yeah, yeah, very weird. But what's the movie? where they like go underground and there's all those creatures the and like the descent yes yeah, the descent isn't it like sorry yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like yeah, yeah. 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 let someone yeah. else guess so yes. like, it, like, it messes me up every time messes me up every time oh my god Benjamin what about for you uh, I would say any kill in Fear Street, honestly. Hey. I feel like all of them are. Hey. They're so iconic. Very so, yeah, they are. I mean, I'll have to go with Fear Street. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone. I love it. Um Kiana and Olivia, I loved the relationship and friendship between Dina and Sam. And I'm honestly just curious what you, if you guys had, a, you know, any type of chemistry reading prior to filming. And all, honestly, when all of you met, was it at a chemistry reading audition or was it actually on set? But Kiana and Olivia, I'll begin with you. Yeah, yeah, we had a chemistry read. We did. We we met at a chemistry read in New York. Mm -hmm. It was the last um, audition for both of us before we, we booked the role. Yeah. And the yeah. chemistry read was six hours long. Yeah. There were six actors there, three reading for the role of Sam, three reading for the role of Dina. Yeah. And for six hours, we were all just going in the room, um, you know, mixing and matching. Lee was there directing us, mm -hmm. and there were some producers there, and the casting director, Carmen Cuba. And yeah, that was, yeah. yep. It was super, we went in the room together for like, we went, we got paired up eventually and then we were in the room for like two hours. Yeah. Just like Whoa. working on scenes. Yeah, for us. Yeah. They, yeah. It felt like we were on set, like they had coverage. We were doing the scenes yeah. like so many times and then we would do close ups and like, it felt like we were shooting the That's movie. Amazing. Yeah, wow. she like, yeah. Lee gave yeah, us like blocking and yeah, 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 it was like a full and, thing. And we left and we were like, I feel like we Yeah, we were walking on this wall together. We were both like, uh, you know, you know, we might have just done it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In there. I asked a lot of actors about chemistry reads, and that's one of the craziest experiences I've heard. So thank you, yeah, thank yeah. you for sharing that. Um, Ryan, can I geek out a little bit uh, with you about Revolutionary Road? Because oh. it's one okay. of my <laughs> mine and my girlfriend's favorite movies of all time. I oh. literally have a Titanic poster of Kate and Leo here in my home office, and I honestly just 
rewatched that movie like a couple of weeks ago and I just wanted to get your memories of what it was like working on that film. Yeah, um, the Revolutionary Road is such a special movie. I was like seven or eight when we <laughs> made it. And um, me and my little brother got to play right. brother and sister in that it's film, so which cute. is such a special experience because you already have that chemistry built in with that person and that mm -hmm. trust. And even though we were like children, like we just so enjoyed working together. And I mean, Kate and Leo are amazing. Kate um, knew me and my brother from beforehand, and we had a oh, really cool. special little meeting with her and Sam Mendez, um, just sort of talking about our relationship as siblings so and like, um, you know, how lovely Here's Kate was. And it it was just really magical. And Leo was so lovely. He was buying us like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. <laughs> But what I, a fun experience. It was so yeah. fun. I've never seen the movie. Wow. Because <laughs> I was like a baby when I made it. So yeah. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Okay, no. <laughs> on my watch list. That'd be cool to like see yourself, you know, as a kid. As a little kid. Well, that's why I've never watched it, because I'm like, I'm not gonna learn anything from that. I was yeah. like, that was a different human being. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I thank you for sharing that. Kiana, I'm a huge after series fan. I have my after poster here. It's been in all of my shots. I yeah. love Anna Todd. We're yeah. Yes, I, I love Anne Todd. I just, I know you can't say too much, but I honestly, what can you tell the fandom about what they can expect from your version of Nora? Because she's so beloved in the book series and her relationships and friendships that she builds with the characters. What can the fandom expect from your Nora? I love playing Nora and my, my take on Nora was just to portray her confidence like, I love that she's so confident, she knows what she wants, she's very outspoken, and it was nice to play a character from New York City, who lived in New York City, you know, she's like big in the, in the restaurant scene there, she's a pastry chef, so she's a professional, and also like knows how to have a good time, and she's very loyal, you know, she's a great friend to Tessa, so, um, you know, without get, giving any spoilers away, I think the fans will be really intrigued on how Nora fits into the whole storyline. And yeah, I mean, I also read um, Nothing More and Nothing Less, and that's yeah, those Landon spinoff books. So that yeah, really helped well. me. Yeah, that helped me get a whole sense of Nora because those books are absolutely amazing as well. And Anna Todd mm -hmm. is such a great writer. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for everyone to see my take on Nora in those films. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so yeah, curious thanks. to see how you guys filmed it in Bulgaria. Really quick, I know they're wrapping me. Emily, I'm so excited for Moonshot. What can you tell us about that? I love Lucas Gage from Euphoria. I love Cole Sprouse. I'm excited. Once that was announced on your Instagram, I was so excited for that project. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun project. Everyone was, is so lovely. And um, I think it's just going to be like a wonderful, feel good, but also a, a fresh take on the rom-com situation. And obviously we've got, like you said, a lot of beloved actors from the YA space in this movie. And it's just... It's fun. We're going to space. I know. I, 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 I am here for it. I love these movies so much. You're here for space. <laughs> I'm here, here for space. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be such a fun thing for you as an actor. Thank you all so much for your time. I think it's so cool how Netflix is releasing these movies, and they are the perfect like horror summer binge watch. So thank you all for your time. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.